Dead on arrival, Asu reacts as Tinubu signs student loan bill into law. Yeah, so Tinubu uh, a few days ago, prior to Democracy Day, signed uh, a student loan bill, student loan bill into law in Nigeria, allowing students uh, to to take student loan and go to school. The when I what people are saying, including ourselves out here. Is assigning student loan bill into law for students to go and take loan to go to school. Which school? All right. The question is, who is going to teach them? These people that are going to teach them, the members of ASU, federal government has refused to meet the agreement with them to pay them, and they have been on perpetual strike. Okay. The schools are not well furnished. The schools are not well equipped. Learning materials. All right. Learning materials are not there. Study aids are not there. Computer, if you go to some universities, it looks like you're in primary school. No computers, no proper sitting arrangement, no light, no electricity. If you go to some student's hostel, you cry. Go to some staff offices, you cry. Go to classrooms, you cry. Go to school environment, they're not maintained, you cry. Okay? The, 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 so you are not saying that students should take loan to go to which school? Schools that are not open for them to go and learn that at home because of perennial perpetual strike? Is, is, is signing student loan the first thing or to honor the agreement with ASU and make sure that school is open and regular for children to go and, and study? Now we're having a lot of Yahoo boys in town because there are students that should have been in school but are not in school and they're looking for other ways to go and survive. And even right now, they are even saying that uh, school is a scam. Okay, now you are signing student loan, uh, 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 student loan law for them to go and take student loan. The same way the, the Buhari administration gave uh, Empower uh, money, I mean Empower money to traders, or I call it traders money, and said that uh, they have been documented and that they will pay back, they will be assessed, and then when they pay back, they will be given more. To tomorrow, who accounted for that money? Who among those people that took the money has paid back? Who among those people that took the money has been checked to see whether he's doing something reasonable with the money. So how are we also not sure that students will also go and take this loan and then use it to solve their problem and go home and nothing will happen? Which record do you have? Nigeria don't keep record. We don't have comprehensive database for everything we do. And you still want to, you know, think that people will take this loan and you will get them back to come and account for it. Yeah? Why are we doing things? upside down. First of all, is this a priority? The school is not in the right condition. Lecturers are not happy. School system is not steady. Why not make sure that the school system is steady first? Why not make sure that the, the, the study environment is also healthy and school is regular before you start talking about student loan? Huh? This is putting the cart before the horse. The chairperson of the Federal University of Technology, MENA, cha MENA chapter of the Staff Union of Universities, ASU, Professor Bolaho Bolare, has condemned the student's loan bill signed into law on Monday by President, Buha uh, President Bola Tinubu. The academic dawn was of the opinion that the law is not feasible as the peculiarities of Nigeria were not considered before signing the bill into law. According to him, the problem with the Nigerian, Nigeria and such initiatives is that the leadership wants to replicate what they see in some other countries without giving any consideration to what is obtainable in Nigeria. He lamented that it may be difficult for students who obtain the loan to pay back due to the high unemployment rate among the graduates as well as the abysmal minimum wage. Yes, Professor Bolari revealed that ASU stood against the bill from the beginning because the scheme is not feasible nor sustainable and is therefore dead on arrival. He said the problem in Nigeria is that we copy policies from other countries and want to replicate them in our country without considering the situation here. Where are the jobs in Nigeria? There are graduates from over 20 years ago who are still jobless. Now the thing about this scheme is that as you repay, another person gets 
access to the loan. But now that the scheme will provide one million per year, uh, suppose a student comes to uh, Federal University of Technology Mina and stays for five years, okay, that means you will receive five million. What is the guarantee that you will get a job to pay it back? As of today, the minimum wage is 30,000. Is it feasible? From the beginning, ASU fought against it because of these issues. There are two, there are no two ways about it. This scheme is not going to be sustainable. You can see universities hiking fees. More universities will do this because governing councils of schools are looking for ways to fund schools because you know it. The level of enrollment in public universities will be reduced. Okay, Nigerian New, News reports that the bill signed by President Tinubu on Monday was passed by the National Assembly in November 2022, was sponsored by the immediate past Speaker of the House of Representatives and the new Chief of Staff to the President, Femi Bajabi Amila. The legislation provides for the establishment of the Nigerian Education Bank, which will have the power to administer, supervise, coordinate, and monitor the management of student loans in the country. Based on the provisions of the legislation, the bank is expected to receive application for student loans through higher institutions on behalf of the applications, applicants and screen them. Can you imagine? So even though this prof is talking about uh, joblessness and how and the condition of the minimum wage and how we have a lot of unemployment in the country and the impossibility of people taking that loan and still paying it back, there is more to it, okay? The condition of the school, the condition of the people teaching in the school, the condition of the non-academic staff in the school, all of these have to be considered. How are you taking care of them? What is the learning environment? How sane is it, okay? This man just touched only one of the issues in Nigeria about student loan. And the key thing is the joblessness anyway, People will collect that money and they will go and solve their problem and they will not come back and nothing will happen. Even though they are saying that they are going to go through uh, the, the higher institution. So if you are coming from university, you go through the university authority so that they can be screened and be sure that the person applying is actually a student and is a student of that school and is actually in school. But the question is, according to this prof, we have graduates all over the University of Nigeria for the past 20 years or more that are jobless till now. So if a student takes a loan and after graduating there's no job or he gets a job that is 30,000 naira a month, how can he pay back that loan? Eh? So it's not enough to see what is good outside and you want to copy it. You need to do critical assessment of how executable is it in your own area. I dare block uh, stumbling blocks. I dare barrier that you need to remove first before you implement such laws or policies. They didn't do all of this assessment. There's no proof. Because in Nigeria, the, the legislators don't debate. They don't ask questions. Well, they just go there, they do whoa, 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 whoa. They read their bill. They say, if you support, raise your hand. If those that are not in support, say nay. If they say nay, the year have it. Is that how to legislate? Eh? Is that how to review policies and bills? So it's, uh, it's obvious that Nigerian legislators don't scrutinize, don't screen issues, don't you know draw lessons from merits and demerits of 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 a bill before before approving or signing it. You see, we sign everything by bribery. We follow up everything by bribery. Everybody, you you are signing a bill. You meet your people in the house and say, look, I'm bringing a bill. Oh. What is your? What do you want to take? Please, I don't want any this bill to suffer. And then before you know it, things will exchange hands. And then the morning that they are going to present the bill, you see that there will be no tangible or strong argument around it. The next thing is they will pass it. God will help us in this country. So that is what this prophet is saying that this bill that Tinubu has just signed into law is dead on arrival because the environment is toxic for it. The 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 the, the 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 circumstances surrounding the loan are not visible are not feasible actually and it's not going to work dead on arrival bill this is from our sudan from federal university of technology mina